Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. For today's video, we are actually going to do two topics during this Shantopolis world update. And to be honest, I am frankly disgusted with Foodie Beauty and her recent behavior. First today is her ridiculous off track video, as well as her continued neglect of Julia. It is almost like a BBJ situation type. It is almost like a BBJ situation part two. She did a video specifically talking about this Julia situation. Her recent live streams have been absolutely insufferable. I don't know how people can watch them. I usually just watch from someone who has done a recap or even a compilation of the important moments, if there really is any important moments in any foodie beauty video. So welcome back. I apologize if the lighting is a little bit off. I just had to get out of the house today. I have spent too many days locked in and I am using this new like microphone. I actually have used it before, but I put it here. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to attach it to your shirt, right? But it sounds so much better if you're just holding it. So that's what I am doing today. Let me know what you guys think and let's just get right into it, I mean, shall we? So our first topic of discussion surrounding this ridiculous woman is her full day of off-track eating. Right off the bat, this video was clickbait. That was not a whole day of eating, and there's no way she's going to make me believe that it is. I guess she is too lazy to actually do a full day of eating video, which I thought would be interesting, but instead, we got this. It's just a very thinly veiled mukbang. It's another mukbang. She is eating fast food, of course. That's all she has been eating this past week on her mukbangs. Chantal, as always, goes completely overboard. She did say just last week that she was going to stop eating fast food. And we looked at this on one of my recent live streams. I think I said in that video, she'll be back to eating it like the next day. Sure enough. She was, but there wasn't even a transition period. Usually she likes to start off with like a healthy takeout meal and then ease us back into full on fast food. She's not even attempting to make it look like she's trying anymore. But when it came to the no fast food challenge, if you want to be literal and say only fast food, then I guess you could say she lasted three days, but who knows what she was eating off camera because on camera she was eating cake and donuts. How is that the start of a diet? girl. Because of all of this stuff that she has been eating lately, she has gained some serious weight here. Previously claiming that she weighed 330 pounds, which I don't think there is anyone out there that believes that. Now she is claiming that she is 343. So regardless of how she is tearing the scale, it does seem as though she has gained 13 pounds. And it doesn't surprise me at all because of her videos that she's been doing lately. It's giving Nick Akato avocado girl. She starts going off in the video. It is just another rant. She cannot stop talking about reaction channels. She says that these people are hypocrites because they eat fast food off camera. I do think that it's all about balance. It's not about completely cutting fast food out of your life. You just obviously shouldn't get it every day or you'll end up like Chantal. She is a tragic case. There was this one reaction channel. She hasn't posted anything in a very long time but she used to act like she was so grossed out by Chantal's McDonald's. And then when she started doing vlogs, she went and got McDonald's and then people were criticizing her and you wonder. So there is some hypocrisy, but that doesn't mean I'm on Chantal's side. Foodie did end up getting just a burger and fries. It was a pretty small meal for her. It was a regular sized meal, but for her, it was tiny and she's eating her fast food meal. You can tell that she's kind of pissy because I guess Salah went out and got this. He is trying to force her to cut back a little bit. He's still going to get her fast food, but it was definitely not enough for her. She even had to make two packets of noodles because she was still hungry. It was giving bees. She talks about how reaction channels don't weigh in, and I don't think that anyone really cares. I know that used to be popular in the past. Some reaction channels tried to lose weight, but nowadays I don't see any reaction channel promising to lose weight. Aren't you the star of Girl World? Why would we care what these people weigh? She starts going on about how she is so much better because she shows herself and she shows what she eats regardless of the backlash. She acts like this is some kind of flex. 
that she is showing everyone the junk food that she's eating. She's not afraid to show how fat people really eat. She acts like people are envious of this lifestyle that she's living. This is not bravery, girl, for you to sit on here as you are and eat thousands and thousands of calories. That is not something to be applauded. It is something to be shamed. She's not afraid to be canceled. She's going to be herself. So being yourself is being nasty, vindictive, insensitive, bigoted even, real brave. She's sick of the dieting and sick of the cycles. Girl, imagine if you're tired, imagine how tired we are. But you don't diet. When was the last time that you actually took a diet seriously? And don't say last week when you promised to stop eating fast food and then you were eating cake and donuts literally the next day. And by the end of the week, you were eating full-blown fast food meals. There was nothing serious about that. She claims that she is telling the truth when she does these things, when she tries to go on a diet. It's just too hard. You don't change things. You don't fix things. You don't grow without going through challenging times. And she just doesn't understand that. She wants everything to be so easy for her and it will never be easy. We know it's not easy, but you don't even try. And that's the difference. And I saw in a previous live stream that she did, she was basically admitting that the end was near. She was gonna eat what she wants because the damage was already done and the end is near. That's bleak, literally. But her priorities are so out of whack because she's so focused on reaction channels and what they look like, what they weigh, while she just gained 13 pounds at least. And she is continuing that upward trajectory, even with travel right around the corner. She's going to regret this so much when she's in another country trying to walk around. Word on the street is she's going to Morocco when she's walking around Morocco and has to take a break every 30 seconds and people are looking at her. She's going to regret this. She's not going to be able to do anything. She's going to be in the foreign country just sitting in the hotel ordering takeout, ordering Uber Eats, whatever she can get her hands on, whatever she can get Salah to go out and bring back to her. That is what she's going to spend most of her time doing. And she keeps saying, I need to start exercising. I need to start eating better because we're going away. Didn't she already pack her bags? I'm expecting them to go within a week and a half, right? And she's still going to be in this place. No stamina. No matter how hard she works, it's still too late. She's not in a very good place. I feel like every time I come on to do an update video for you guys, nothing really changes. She's still eating fast food. She's still gaining. But every year that passes, it's only going to get worse. All right, you guys. So for our next topic, we're going to talk about the BBJ. Oh. Freudian slip, the Julia situation, not the BBJ situation, although there are similarities between the BBJ situation and now the Julia situation. The most glaring similarity being that Chantal is continuing to neglect animals. Just about a month ago, it was, she said that she was going to go back to Canada, basically abandoning this cat with Salah. This all kind of kicked up because she did a live stream where she was sitting in their apartment complex's gym, and she was talking about how Julia had gone into heat and how she was, quote, so annoying. It was all about Chantal and how this situation was inconveniencing her. She didn't offer any empathy for what Julia might be going through. Clearly, she is in pain. She is in distress right now as all this is going on. And yet, that's how Chantal talks about her. Chantal did say that they got her this injection, and that is what kept her out of heat for about a year. Recently, though, people could hear on her live streams, the cat was meowing really loudly, like banging hanging around in the next room over. What they decided to do is just put this cat in their spare room so that they wouldn't have to deal with her. And she is in pain. As I said, she's distressed. And now what they are adding on top of that, she is afraid. She's not used to being trapped in a room like that. And I don't think that Chantal is going in there very often to check on her, to console her. She has just thrown her into the room with food and water. Have at it. The cat's afraid. She doesn't know why she's in there. It's despicable behavior from Chantal. And so because of this situation, she has been accused of being an animal abuser. 
again. Of course, the first instance of this was with the BBJ situation, although even before that, people had their concerns about the living conditions because Chantal's apartment was a complete mess in Canada. There was trash all over the floor. The litter box was a disaster. She wasn't taking care of them. And so her neglect of animals has been going on for years now. Chantal decided to fire back, which honestly, this is your first mistake. You should have not even made this video. It'll probably be deleted. She decided to fire back at FFG specifically in this new video called quote, defamatory claims. She's coming on basically to face the accusations that she is an animal abuser. By her logic, she doesn't agree. I don't think you have many people on your side in this situation, girl. So she talks about wanting to get Julia another injection. It is something that stops the cat from going into heat. This is what they got Julia before. In a previous video, she said that she went to the same vet that gave her the first injection, and they said, no, that you're not supposed to do this a second time. Well, it seems like she went to a second vet, and they did give Julia the shot. Now, we have no idea what she told this second vet, but I highly doubt that she told that second vet that they had already given Julia this shot. She is vet shopping, if you will. She has talked about these places being sketchy clinics. I don't think that Julia even has a real vet. I just think that when a situation erupts, she takes Julia to one of these, quote, sketchy clinics. I know that vet care is super expensive, but look at all of the money that she spends on food and Timu hauls and going on vacation. It's not that she doesn't have the money. She doesn't want to spend the money on vet care. She wants to spend it on food and Timu and what we just said. Chantal concocts this story in an attempt to exonerate her, that the cat had certain skin conditions, that there was some things wrong with the cat that they wanted to clear up first before they did the operation, before they spayed her. I do think it is possible that she's telling the truth here that there was something wrong with the cat that they wanted to fix first before they got the procedure. But I don't think that that was going to take an entire year. I don't think she followed up. I don't think she even thought about this situation. She doesn't really care about anyone or anything but herself. She even says herself, I forgot. So clearly, Julia's vet care was not a priority for her. She was being neglectful. It's not about getting the shot. It's about the fact that you had all this time and you did nothing, just like every other thing in your life. That's why this comes as no surprise. You have had so much time to lose weight, to up your mobility so that you could have a better time when you were traveling. You had a whole year since your last trip in Thailand and you've done nothing but gain, really. So you're even on here admitting that, but then you want to come on here and say that this is full defamation from FFG. She says if she was in Canada, she would be filing a case because it's all documented. Girl, you want to talk about documented? Everything that you have done in regards to the BBJ situation and this situation with Julia, that is all documented. You want to go to court with this situation? You might see yourself with a criminal charge once FFG pulls out those vet papers, because we have heard not only FFG's account, but we have seen the account from the vet. So who do you think that the judge is going to listen to? This vile, vindictive woman from YouTube or a vet? Because if this did go to court, FFG could even get that vet as a witness. And then Chantal will end up with a criminal charge. So go there, sweetheart. She's been threatening lawsuits for years, so I don't see this actually going anywhere. But boy, wouldn't it be fun to see. And you know that FFG subscribers are going to fund a bang-up lawyer to take Chantal to the cleaners. She continues to claim that this is nobody's business but her own, what she does with her pets. Girl, you have put it online. And we have heard this cat in pain, like yowling to get out of the other room because you have trapped her in there and she's afraid. That is like one of the worst parts of this. How long does she keep her locked up in there? And how is she just going to dump her off with someone and go traveling like next week? She doesn't seem to care. That gets us to the trip. She doesn't want to postpone this trip because they're going to lose money. Obviously, it's about the money. She says that her cats have always been fine slash happy on camera, but I would fire back to that by saying that they've been in her care for so long 
They don't know what it's like to have a pet owner that actually cares and doesn't neglect their needs. Chantal says that this is some sort of false narrative and that people are just concocting things because she's not a mess anymore, that she has learned and grown. So reaction channels don't have content anymore. It's not the Natter saga. She's not raging every day, but she kind of is. I don't think that this woman has changed at all. She's just in a more stable relationship now. She does rage. She does act a fool. And there is drama. Certainly not as much as she had during the Natter saga, but there's still drama and she's still a mess. I don't know how much she has changed aside from changing men and changing locations. Her man is not as messy as Natter, even though he has certainly caused his fair share of mess with the cheating scandal and the carrot picture. So this is just textbook neglect to me. I don't see any other way that she could spin this. And she even tells on herself at one point in the video, she is like detailing neglect. She says, it's not abuse because they would have to be starved or hidden away for several days. And then she looks around like, oh wait, I am hiding her away. And then she says, w without food and water. You even see that hiding her away in that room is not good. And in the past, we have seen severe neglect. So I don't think that that's a defamatory statement. The real issue here is that this woman is so incredibly lazy and she only cares about herself and getting her fix. That is all she cares about. What she can do to get her next meal, her next fast food, her next dessert. I don't even think she really cares about Salah. The only reason she's with him is because it shows the audience that she is desired and she can project this happily married life. That we know is a false reality. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I thought it had been a while since we did a video on Foodie Beauty instead of live streams. So I wanted to make one. I know that this is not a fun topic, but it needs to be said. I don't think she should ever own a pet again after the BBJ situation, but she had to get Julia to rub it in the audience's face. That's all that was. And yeah, go to court, girl. Go to court because I would love to see you get your ass handed to you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.